WWE SmackDown Live preview and predictions for tonight. That's what I'm here to talk to you about, guys. How's it going? My name is WWE Movie Maker. If you have not subscribed yet and you like what you are seeing on my channel, uh, please make sure you do subscribe. Please make sure you hit the notification bell. Please, if you want to see more of these entertaining videos, more of my reactions to everything, even though they may be a day late, they are still complete reactions. I can guarantee you that. And you will laugh your um, behind off for sure. Um, please make sure you subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Please make sure you hit the notification bell. Comment all the way as much as you want. Please comment so that I can, uh, you know, improve my videos. Um, and uh, give me some suggestions as well. Like, dislike, whatever you want. Um, but here today, uh, continuing on with more videos today, I did talk about Raw uh, and the my, my, my reaction to LaVar Ball, LaMelo Ball, and Lonzo Ball, the Ball brothers on WWE Raw, possibly the next uh, big thing in the NBA they were on Raw last night. Make sure you check out my reaction to that. I will leave that in the annotation above for sure. Um, now, since Raw is over, and I'm gonna, I, I forgot to give my rating, but I'll give Raw, uh, you know, I thought the Samoa Joe and Lesnar segment was uh, very, very good. I'm, I'm probably going to say the women's gauntlet match was amazing. They gave enough time for the women um, to you know, uh, to wrestle, to show their ability. So I thought that was tremendous. Um, you had the, again, the uh, LeVar Ball and Miz segment. I thought that was funny. Um, it may have not been the best to a lot of people. Um, and then you also have Enzo and, and Big Cass. Uh, you know, Enzo and Big Cass. I, I, I'll decide to make a video on this later. It's just that there's so many things I got to make a video on, but there's so many other things I got to do, so I can't all do it at once. But I at one point thought they were going to you know go together like i thought I, they 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 got me got like they fooled me i'm not joking i thought they were going to be a tag team again I thought they were going to be partners again i thought you know this happens with best friends you know this happens you know they screw around with each other get pissed off and they go back together and i thought you know what if, if this is true if these guys are going to join back together please do so um you know it just you know do it win the tag titles you can split up after but i don't care anymore just please go back together and they fooled me i i kept thinking like it's impossible it's impossible but then big Cass again beat the crap out of enzo amore and uh spoiled a lot of people's dreams i i can tell you right now for the first time in a long time you know i was pissed off and i i i, I had heat towards big Cass. i fucking hate big Cass right now you know Enzo Mori's speech, this guy has the mic skills, right? So we'll see where that goes. But overall, if I'm going to rate Raw, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's what I'm going to give it. Um, I missed out on the Golden Truth segment. Um, I heard it was actually pretty in interesting. Uh, I did see some photos and tweets about it, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, I might have to check that out. I think that'll be pretty interesting as well. So overall, this Raw, think about it. This Raw was one of the better Raws of this year since WrestleMania Monday. I mean, I don't, I can't remember a better Raw than or maybe the Superstar Shakeup, but one of the better Raws this year. Trust me, is it the greatest? No. Was it better than last week? Last week's was better than the previous week, and this week was better than last week. It seems like Raw is doing little by little to be better and get better. At least it's not getting worse and going back down the dump. You know what I'm saying? So they're doing better. And as for SmackDown Live, I'm going to give you a preview for what you're going to see tonight. All right. Um, SmackDown Live. Tonight's WWE SmackDown Live and 205 Live will take place from the Valley View Casino Center in San Diego, California with the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match as the main event. We got a lot of stuff last night on Raw and now we're going to be treated to a Money in the Bank ladder match on SmackDown. My goodness. I actually forgot about that for a second. Now other matches announced tonight is Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin, Lana versus SmackDown Women's Champion Naomi, the Hype Bros versus the Usos. Uh, I'm not sure. Is that for the tag titles? No. 
the Hype Bros battled the Usos for a chance to earn a SmackDown tag team title match. Okay, so this is not really... The titles are not on the line. Uh, no matches have been announced for 205 Live. No, seriously, man. If you look at this card, you got the Money in the Bank ladder match. Again, Zayn and Corbin, Lana and uh, Naomi, Hype Bros and Usos. Bro, this is like a SmackDown pay-per-view. I am not joking. This could be pretty interesting. This is a SmackDown pay-per-view type card that we're seeing, you know, on the actual show. This is going to be interesting. I can't wait. I'm going to... I didn't uh, fully uh, remember all this stuff. I didn't fully look into it. Uh, I forget a lot of things, to be honest. And I, I, I watch Raw more contently than I do SmackDown. That's only because of the time that I have, and that's only because of the stuff I have to do. And that also is because of how long Raw is, three hours. So... If somebody wanted to tune in, they have three hours to do. Well, SmackDown only got two hours. So, you know, that's a, that's also another factor. So I forgot about this. So we're going to be seeing the second Women's Money in the Bank ladder match tonight um, with the same women. Lana will face off against Naomi. Those are two main event matches. Again, I was seeing Money in the Bank rematches. I don't care if you, if you, if you, you know, uh, if you're somebody who's like, well, I don't want to see the Money in the Bank ladder match again because, you know, they're spoiling it. You know, it should have been just a one-time thing, right? In terms of the match, I want to see it. I'm going to be entertained for sure, and I can't wait. Do I agree with you? Because I think what they should have done is they should have had Shane McMahon come out of Money in the Bank last week, last Sunday night, and be like, well, you can't be doing this. All right? You cannot, James Ellsworth, you cannot win the Money in the Bank uh, contract for somebody else. Restart the match. Now, what they wanted to do was is create heat over it. So what they did was is they allowed this to happen and they didn't let Shane McMahon come out there. But you know what the awkward part is? Shane McMahon both and Daniel Bryan both tweeted out that we will address this on SmackDown. So in the end, the authority had to do something. Why didn't they do it right when, uh, when it happened? I mean, that's logical uh, sense right there, right? But they wanted to keep the heat on Ellsworth and that's why they let it go. It's... I understand why they did it, but it doesn't make any logical sense. I mean, if you're at a job and you screw something up or you cheat or you lie, the the, uh, the boss is if the bo- the boss is not going to address you a week later, you know, they're going to address you as soon as possible. And knowing that this is a SmackDown Live pay-per-view, a Money in the Bank pay-per-view, right? Should be the boss Shane McMahon should be there backstage, right? So we're seeing another one of that. Naomi and Lana, so this is going to give Lana some more time to you know, work with Naomi, possibly get better in the ring. I didn't think her debut was amazing, but I mean, she. what can you expect out of her? Are you going to put that much pressure on her? Can you wrestle the way Lana wrestled? You're probably going to be more shit than she ever was. So I'm not going to say anything bad about Lana because I don't think her wrestling abilities are tre- treacherous. They're not like Eva Marie's. Um, she's decent. She picked the body part. She started working on it at Money in the Bank and... I think that's the best thing you could possibly do in a situation like that. Take it easy, right? Um, she can easily uh, do a lot of the high spots well. Um, in terms of working a match and telling a story, she needs to work on, obviously, her 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 being the more smoother and slicker in the ring, not being all the sloppy typeness, but that's that happens when you work your first live match. And she's worked matches before, right? But... I honestly don't know uh, when she's ever wrestled before. I think I'm pretty sure if if you're in the wrestling business, I'm pretty sure you've stepped into a wrestling ring, whether you're a manager or not. I'm pretty sure you must have, you know. So we'll see what what happens with that. And as for the other matches, uh, Hype Rose and uh, Usos, that'll be pretty interesting. And Corbin and Zayn. And Corbin is, again, remember, he is the Money in the Bank winner, so we'll see what happens with Jinder Mahal tonight as well. Uh, it seems like it should be a, a nice, good SmackDown Live tonight. And uh, I think I think uh, these matches are pretty much the only thing that is going to happen on the show because you need a 30-minute you know, uh, time slot for the Money in the Bank, uh, the, you know, the Naomi and uh, Lana match, maybe another 15 minutes, whatever. Um, but they might swerve us because, remember, this isn't a pay-per-view, so they might screw the ending up again. I'm not sure. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this preview. Stay tuned for SmackDown Live tonight. Peace out.